Don't walk right into me. When you see me running, coming, move. You're the new boy? Yes, sir! Oh, I was promised a thug. You look more respectable than I was hoping. Uh, well then, maybe you should get some glasses, old man. <laughs> That's more like it! Okay, I need you to pick someone up. Oh, are they feeling sad? In a car! Obviously. The person is Forrest Blackwell. The multi-billionaire? That is correct. It won't be easy, though. Mr. Blackwell is constantly hounded by the paparazzi. They will try to follow you, and Mr. Blackwell will not like this. Got it. Not a problem, because I am awesome at driving. Good boy. Go pick him up at Blackwell Tower, and be polite. He's our only customer. What are you sitting around for? Oh. take my time with this and try to get him wherever he's got to go safely. Of course, it shows hearts. Am I supposed to, is the cops going to be chasing me? Or something, eventually. Why do I have hearts?
Oh, I have a time limit. I didn't realize I had a time limit. is to where I gotta take him out. Oh no! See you there! Ow! Yowzers! and I am done for. You say no, no, four. We didn't even really hit. I don't think. How did we? What, like you would have came over, you hum homebody. Yeah, right. I'm gonna get in trouble for that. We just cooked out. We didn't really invite hardly anybody. The only one that was really here was my dad's sister. You wouldn't even come over. I invite you all the time to come over and get your butt over here, and you don't come over. Yeah, right.
Watch the birdie. Side change. Mr. Blackwell, are you still thinking about the scandal? Why won't you let anyone in your tower anymore? Is it true you prefer cats to dogs? Gentlemen, please, give Mr. Blackwell some privacy. He merely wishes to go somewhere mysterious what? for secretive reasons he doesn't want you to know about. They grilled out ham slices. Where are you going? Hey, where are you Forrest going? Blackwell, sir, what you don't believe me. It's my job. Where can I take you, sir? Very kind of you to ask. Oh, shut me. up. I shall be attending one of the last ever performances of the Perpetual Inbox at the Gillespie Theatre. I trust you We are not. That's just what they wanted to have, you dork. Yes, sir. I'll do my best to shake them off. I, I do. I do want to adopt a somewhat, shall we say, unorthodox. No, she didn't style. make potato salad. She just had a, sa uh, a salad, oh, do not worry and then my she account. had sweet potatoes. I have been the top ships of the desert. Nothing can compare to the discomfort that inflicts upon one's costume. You know what? Shut you up. A of the when you actually yourself, come yeah, over. Well, I, I hell like will freeze over. The monkey who solves crimes. Ah, a true connoisseur. So, uh, may I ask what the place is? You know what? About? You know you could Authority. come over anytime you wanted because I practically said you're welcome to come over anytime you wanted to. So when you actually like do show dog. up, ah, I will pass out and hell will freeze over. Things. But what can you do? <laughs> you either ignore it and get on with your life, or you go mad. <laughs> hey, your mom knows you're welcome to come over anytime, and she is too. It's just you, 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 you're the one that don't want to. You're the one that don't want to come over. Look where you're going. Or you could sneak behind there. I told you you could come over, over, you dork. Third option. Don't tell anyone. But that's the one I favor. Me too. Oh, and you are, and you don't. Great. Shut up. No, you. Well, I hope you enjoy the play anyway. Thank you. I suspect it'll be the last chance I get to see one in quite some time. I have rather a long trip coming up. Bye, bad. Is that the time? Don't tell people nothing bad online. Now maybe you would, but I wouldn't. I need the lavatory. I do not. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Are we there yet? Well, I think I just about survived that journey, driver. There's no need to wait. I shall be getting home by <coughs> other means. Shut up. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. That was admirable driving for Mr. Blackwell. Your complete lack of respect for traffic laws proves that you are an awful person and is to be commended. Thanks. I hate traffic laws. Yes. I sense you may be the sort of individual we are looking for. You know Have what you ever stolen anything? I stole some pens. Oh. A thousand pens. From a child with a limp. Excellent. Then you are to be offered a promotion. Go to the alleyway to the <laughs> left of the salvage yard in Pagoda. My employer will be anticipating your arrival there. He will explain the details. Let's go meet Mr. Chan. 